And today on Madden 24, I'm going to be taking the four highest overall receivers in the game to find out who can score a 99-yard touchdown the fastest. Before we get into the touchdowns, let's take a look at the guys in Madden. 99 overall, Justin Jefferson, maybe the best receiver in the game if it wasn't for Tyreek Hill with 99 speed as a 99 overall. Devontae's a 97. You got Cup, but he's injured, so we have Stephon Diggs at a 96 with 92 speed. So I'm starting this off with Stephon Diggs, the lowest rated wide receiver in this video, but still at a 96. Pretty insane, but we're going to have Diggs go just on a one-on-one -on -one route, hopefully, on a streak down the field. Allen got hit as he threw. He almost made an insane catch, but that's what we're going to be doing. For the first 30 seconds, I would say, first minute, we're going to be trying one-on-one -on -one balls to each receiver. Diggs, he's got a step. Can he go up and make a catch? He can't do it right there. And if I had to pick a favorite for this video, it would definitely be Tyreek Hill with that 99 speed. But you literally never know with the CPU. The CPU sometimes makes absolutely no sense. They will all go up against the Tennessee Titans defense. So make sure to make your predictions in the comments down below as Diggs were picked. All right, the one-on-one -on -one ball not working for Diggs. So this will be the last time I try. We'll try for about a minute and five seconds with all of the wide receivers. And Diggs, that ball's up there a long time. Diggs, oh, if he caught off the deflection, he was going to be gone. Let's try a new play. So now we got a post and street combination with Diggs coming over the top. He's got a little bit of separation, and we're picked off. Got to put that ball a little bit more into the middle of the field there, Josh, and he's probably gone because Diggs had a step. This play will definitely work. Diggs is too good. He will get separation. Allen getting out of the pocket, firing it on the run, and just a little bit out of the reach for Diggs. This is definitely the play that can work, though. Diggs, just get it to him here. One man a beat. No, I didn't want you to dive there, Diggs. If he doesn't dive, we might have a touchdown over the middle of the field. And now it looks like the safeties are going to drop down, so I'm going to let Diggs go maybe one-on-one -on -one here with a back shoulder. He makes the catch, and he's tackled out of bounds. It's with two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Now Diggs is getting pressed. There's no doubt in my mind we're scoring a touchdown. Allen stands in the pocket, delivers a football, and Stephon Diggs, sideline, touchdown. We can believe it, though. He was getting pressed, and that was a pretty easy touchdown. It wasn't unbelievable. And with that touchdown, Stephon Diggs gets us started on the leaderboard. Now it's time for Devontae Adams' left-hand side of the screen here, and we are getting the stopwatch started. And we're going to try the one-on-one, -on -one, just go balls, the streaks to start off with Devontae. He did get double covered right there. But we're going to try that for about a minute, just like we did with Diggs. Score to beat is on the screen for you all right now. Devontae Adams, so open, but can he win a foot race? Devontae Adams, he only has 90 speed. Can he get to the end zone? And we're caught at the three. Devontae Adams would have destroyed Stephon Diggs' this time. But he just gets caught at the three. That 90 speed comes back to get him. If he has 92 like Jefferson or Diggs, and obviously 99 like Tyreek Hill, he's not getting caught. Devontae Adams, obviously he's not a speedster. He does have some speed. 90 speed obviously isn't slow. His route running, though, is really what does it for Devontae Adams. The separation he creates. So he is at a little bit of a disadvantage. But you never know. He could still win this. He made it to the three. All he needs is three extra yards next time. Not a fun day at the office for Jimmy Garoppolo right now. Can we get some protection? Jimmy G is not going to make those throws. He's not rolling out of the pocket like Josh Allen would. We, we need to stand in the pocket, but I need protection. Come on. Come on. No, Jimmy G. That throw was nowhere close, and we almost caught the deflection. Have to try to just go one-on-one -on -one again. Oh, we have separation. Jimmy! No, just a little underthrown in stride. That would have been a buzzer beater for the win, for the lead, at least in this video in terms of time. But Garoppolo overthrew him. Jimmy G, you're not putting it on your man Adams right here. Devontae, go get it. Go get it. Devontae, and he's tackled. Three minutes in, not a great score so far for Devontae Adams. He's got double me, though. Give him a one-on-one -on -one chance or a three-on-one -on -one <laughs> chance. It literally doesn't matter. He caught that too. They're running prevent. If we somehow score, that would be unreal. Hold on a minute though. Hold on a minute though. Jimmy, that might have been your best throw. Just a little bit out of the reach for Adams. That was by far Jimmy's best throw on a post route. And they're really doing prevent again. Do they know I'm trying to score a 99 yarder with Devontae Adams or something? Adams is having a rough go at it. There's no doubt about it. Jimmy. Put it out there for him. Adams, he caught it. Don't get caught. Finally, Devontae Adams is in. Five minutes, 46 seconds. And after that touchdown, Devontae Adams joins the leaderboard. Now it's time for Tyreek Hill, who I believe is the favorite for this with that 99 speed. 
Let's see if Tyreek scores in one play. Oh, not if Tua's getting sacked like that. Where's the protection? I'm recording this right after the Dolphins scored 70 points on the Broncos. I have another video coming out for the Broncos versus Dolphins with that 70 points. It might actually be out already by the time you're seeing this video. But what a game. And I can't get the ball to Tyreek Hill. We're getting no protection right now. And honestly, Hill is not burning anybody. But this is our chance right here. Tyreek Hill. Nobody else is back there. Tua, you let it fly. See you later. See you later. Tyreek Hill. I mean... Was there any doubt who's going to win this thing? We still have to wait for Justin Jefferson. Throw up the peace sign, Tyreek. But 43 seconds is all it takes for the fastest player in the game. Just look how fast Tyreek Hill is. It is not fair. Devontae Adams, as you saw, I tried to do a lot of these one-on-one -on -one balls. The corner's just staying with him. But Tyreek Hill got like 10 yards of separation. This team is so exciting to watch in the real NFL, and I love playing with them in this game. Tyreek Hill, with that great time, is going to take first place on the leaderboard. And before we finish this video with Justin Jefferson on the road to 100K, if you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, we finish this video with 99 overall Justin Jefferson, and this time is going to be really tough to beat, though. Beating 43 seconds. With Tyreek Hill, you know the official time on the screen right now. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's 43 seconds. We're going to have to score in the next two, maybe three plays. Jefferson, make an insane grab. He almost did make an insane grab. He has increased catching outside the numbers on deep routes. I would say we need to get it done on this one or the next one, or Tyreek's going to be the winner. And it's incomplete. This is it right here. If we don't get this, Tyreek's the winner. Jefferson. Goes up for it, and he actually could have caught it. And if he was lucky enough to catch it, maybe could have ran with it. Tyreek Hill is your winner. Justin Jefferson could still beat Devontae Adams' time. He can beat Stephon Diggs' time. He's playing for second and third place as well. And maybe as close as he can get to Tyreek Hill's time. Let's air it out one-on-one. -on -one. Jefferson, go grab it. Oh, he's like just climbing the ladder every time you throw one of those lob passes deep. And now there's two players lined up on Jefferson. He's getting the Calvin Johnson treatment. And he's still caught. I thought we just got the ball taken away from us by Bayer. Oh, back shoulder here. Jefferson. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? How in the world did he just catch that? I have no idea how Jefferson just caught that ball. What in the world happened? So it looks like it's broken up. It's deflected. Jefferson just looked weird. Maybe it isn't as crazy as I thought. He just came down with it with one hand. Wait, I got to see this. Zoom in on this. It's just like, okay, he does have a grip on it. It looks like it just sticks to his hand. Though. Wait, then it switches hands. He caught it with his right a little bit or his left. It just like went from on top of his left hand. And then just magically went into his left hand. What in the world kind of animation is that? And then after that, I mean, he's off to the races. There was just one guy back there, but I got to see this one more time. He caught the ball. I don't know how he caught it anyway. It was like deflected. Deflected like on top of his left hand. And then all of a sudden ends up under his left hand just without him doing anything. He did not move the ball or it just warped. It just teleported under his left hand, and then that's a touchdown. And this is how our leaderboard looks at the end of all four 99-yard touchdowns. Ask it over the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And make sure to go check out my other channels, which are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.